What's going on Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So last week I did show you guys how to do a legendary farm for all of you low level players. The goal was to make sure that everyone got a really good start right out of the vault. I'm not going to be showing you that grind again this week. If you haven't seen that grind, I'll put a link down in the description as well as at the end of this video so you could check that out. The downside of doing the grind was I ended up coming across a lot of great legendary weapons, anywhere between level 5 all the way up to level 50. I didn't want to just get rid of them. I didn't want to sell them to a vendor who's only going to, you know, delete them over time. So I gave the, some of them away last weekend. Uh, but I still have a lot more to give away. So that's the entire point of this video. I'm going to be giving away all of these items to those of you who are on PC. Uh, so if this helps you guys out, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that to subscribe. Also, I plan on doing this every weekend for those of you that are on PC, just collecting all of the legendaries that I come across and saving them for you over the weekend. So if you want to be the first to be notified because they are first come first serve, make sure that you have that bell hit. That way you'll be the first to know when I upload these videos. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to be pulling up my inventory. Now again, you have to be on PC because that's what I play on. Uh, in order to get these items, you do just have to be the first one in the comment to ask for that item. Just comment down in the section, you want this item. Now the rule is it's just one item per person. I'm trying to help out as many people as possible. So I'm going to be starting off with the, uh, the weapons that I have, and then we'll move on to the armor. So let's take a look. Now this first weapon that I'm going to be giving away, it's not actually something that I looted through the grind. And there's a couple of items in here that are, uh, that are going to be like that. I picked them up through quests. This is the All Rise weapon. Now I got this from the Mayor for the Day side quest that's in Watoga. Uh, it's not the greatest weapon in the world, I'm not going to lie, but it, it, it is nice to have anything that has the 90 percent reduced weight. So I went ahead and held on to it. This is a level 50 item uh, and it got, does give you an extra plus 10 health. So if anyone out there on PC is interested in this item, just be the first to ask for the all rise weapon in the comments section. And I'll meet up with you guys in game. Uh, so again, 90 percent weight reduction and 10 health. The next item, now this is going to be a level 25 item, and I was pretty excited when I looted this guy. Check this out. This is an Assassin's Black Powder Rifle. Now it does an extra 10% damage to other players. That's pretty cool if you're into PvP. Ooh, man, a lot of talking makes me thirsty. Oh, yeah, that's better. So that's cool if you're into PvP. But what's really cool about this is it is an exploding weapon. So the bullets explode on impact. Now, if you're level 25 and you got an exploding weapon, you're doing all right. Uh, and on top of that, it gives you plus one perception. So if this is an item that interests you, make sure you're the first one to comment Assassin's Black Powder Rifle in the comments section. Again, I'll meet up with you in game for you PC folk. All right, moving on. This is a bit of a different weapon. I know most of us don't necessarily want tire irons for a weapon, but hey, if they got good stats, why not? This is a level 30 tire iron, uh, and it does reflect 50% of the damage back if you're blocking. Uh, it does do more damage the lower your damage resistance is, and it gives you plus one agility. So that's an all right weapon for a level 30. I Three stars is hard to throw away for a level 30. Uh, so if you want that weapon, just be the first to ask for the Berserker Tire Iron. Moving on, we do have a level 45 weapon. So this isn't necessarily a low-level weapon. It's just something that I picked up uh, throughout my travels for the last week. This is a Bloodied Pickaxe. Uh, now this Bloodied Pickaxe does reflect 50% melee uh, damage back when you're blocking. Uh, it does more damage the lower your health is, and it's reduced weight. So this thing weighs a quarter of a pound. Uh, so that's an awesome weapon to have in your inventory. Anytime you have anything that doesn't weigh much, it's a great item to have in your inventory. Because as we all know with Fallout 76, weight management is often kind of uh, the, the difficulty that we run into. 
So this is a really cool weapon. Uh, level 45, so that is max, max level for pickaxe. So any of you guys interested in that bloodied pickaxe, let me know in the comments. Moving on, we got another... Oh, this is my... I gotta say, this is probably my favorite weapon. This is a level 5 weapon. And if you get out of the vault with this weapon, dude, you are... You're going to be doing all right to start off with. This is a bloodied pump action shotgun. This is level five, dude. I love this. Uh, so level, bloodied, anytime you have bloodied, it's more damage when you're low health. Uh, and when you get out of the vault, you're always running into situations when you're low health because everything's just kicking your butt. But aside from that, this has a 25% faster firing rate and 15% uh, faster reload. So this is a really cool weapon. So you guys want to jump on this. For all you guys just getting out of the vault or if you started a brand new character, uh, try to get this bloodied pump action shotgun. Let me know in the comments. Moving on, we're back at bloodied again, but this time we're getting to the shish kebab. Now this is level 45. I don't know. I don't even know how this got in my inventory. It just kind of showed up one day. So I didn't notice when I looted it. Uh, but it does do the 50% damage block uh, back at the enemies when you're blocking. So that's pretty cool. I mean, um, but of course, what most people are interested in is that bloodied effect. Now, for those of you that are new to Fallout, uh, bloodied can be a very powerful weapon. Um, a lot of people do low level uh, character build, like low health character builds. So they deliberately stay in a low health state just so that they can get the most out of these weapons. And they'll even have gear like armor uh, that benefits them for being low health. If you want to stay at a low health, all you got to do is collect some radiation. That way your health can only go so high, and that's going to keep you at that constant state of low health, which is going to give you all that extra damage. So bloodied shish kebab, let me know in the comments. Once again, one item per person, so you want to be the first to, to let me know. Um, but of course, we got more awesome weapons coming up, so make sure you're asking for what you really want. Um, because once you get something early on in the B's or the C's, uh, you're not going to be able to get a weapon in the Z's. I don't think there is a weapon that starts with a Z, but you know what I'm saying. Moving on, we got an exterminator 10 millimeter machine gun. I don't remember this one. I got so many items here. Uh, exterminator makes it to where you do 30% damage to the, the Mirelarks and the bugs, which isn't the, the most sought after, um, the most sought after, uh, attribute i don't know what to call it mod effect effect is probably the best word um but you also get 10 percent uh damage while aiming uh honestly this is a mediocre weapon um if you guys want it let me know um i wouldn't recommend wasting your uh one item on this particular guy i'm actually surprised i kept a hold of this but it's there if you want it i'm not here to judge you play how you want to play and you get the items that you want to uh, moving on, this is another Exterminator Salvage Assaultron Droid. Level 35. I think I know why I kept this guy, though. Um, faster moving... Okay, maybe not. Faster movement speed while aiming and 10% damage while aiming. That's kind of a good combo if you're the kind of person that aims. So if you're playing and you're not uh, using VATS, which is most of us, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of VATS for this game. Uh, so if you're usually aiming... Uh, faster movement speed and extra damage while aiming, that's a pretty good combo. So if you're interested in this, let me know. All right, now we're going to get into instigating. Now, instigating is one of those effects that I'm going to keep even if it's a one star because it's just a really good effect to have. Instigating means that you're going to do double damage if the target is at full health. And, uh, I mean, if you're playing solo, most of the enemies you come across are going to be full health. And even if you're playing with a friend... Uh, quite a few of them are still going to be full health. You just got to be the first person to get a hit on them. With that being said, this is a level 10 item. And this is where, uh, at level 10, you want to do the most damage as possible. Uh, so this has the potential to doing some one-hit one kills on some of the lower level enemies, uh, which is a great, great thing to have. Um, and that's it's just a one-star in this case. Uh, but that's the great ability to have when you're first getting out of the vault is to be able to one-hit one, one hit kill people. So instigating hatchet, let me know in the chat. Uh, again, instigating pump action shotgun. Uh, now, I did put this up for, uh, for last week as well. Nobody claimed dibs on it. This is level 15 uh, shotgun. So, I mean... 
Uh, I got a shotgun build, so I'm already doing like 104 damage. But if you're a new player, if you're level 15, chances are the damage is not going to be 104. Uh, but this is still an awesome weapon to have at level 15. So if you're interested, let me know. I just can't drop an instigating pump action shotgun. That that would be a sin. Uh, and the same goes with this instigating sledgehammer. This is level 40. By level 40, you've likely come across some slightly better legendary weapons. But still, somebody out there could definitely use this. I, I just didn't have it in my heart to get rid of it. Uh, sledgehammer is a pretty cool weapon. There's a lot of modifications that you can do to it. Uh, so yeah, level 40, instigating, double damage. Let me know. Uh, back to the lower levels, level 15, this is an instigating spear. Uh, I don't know too many people that use spears, but at level 15, I think we really just used whatever we could get our hands on. Uh, so again, double damage spear, so it's melee weapon, and it does 50% damage to limbs. Now, uh, I mean, now we're talking about double damage plus 50% damage. That's a pretty good combination. So if you're a level 15, a low-level guy looking for uh, maximum damage... Uh, this is not a bad weapon to get, so let me know in the comments. I do apologize for all you guys that aren't uh, on uh, PC, but you know, our, if you guys are playing on Xbox, if you are playing on PS4, I wish there was a way for me to give you some of these weapons as well. My goal is to help as many people out as possible, especially new players. That's mostly what my channel's about if you haven't seen my channel before. I, I'm usually trying to give the, the good, helpful tips that are going to help you get a good start when you first start off with Fallout 76. And even for older players, more like seasoned players, uh, there's so much stuff going on in this game that it's hard to know everything. So you get a lot out of my channel, I like to think. Anyways, moving on. We do have another higher level weapon. This is going to be a level 40 weapon. Uh, and this is a Mutant Slayer Power Fist. Now the Power Fist is just a fun, fun weapon to have here. Uh, this reflects damage while blocking. It does do 30% against Super Mutants and plus one agility. Um, it's an alright weapon. I'm going to be honest. These are, are a combination that's not usually desirable all in all. Uh, I mean, who wants a weapon that's going to be doing extra damage but only to a specific enemy? You know, we try to be a little more universal. But nonetheless, it's a 3-star and it gets a little difficult for me to just toss a 3-star. So again, if you're interested in it, uh, it's all yours. Just let me know in the comments. Moving on down, I have the Stalker's Laser Pistol. Uh, this is the 50% limb damage, uh, 500 damage resistance while reloading. That's a good attribute to have on some of the lower speed, like reload speeds, like if you're talking about like black powder weapons or maybe a minigun. Uh, I don't think it takes very long to reload on a laser pistol, so it's like a, eh. it's still a lot of damage resistance, don't get me wrong, so that can be a pretty nice attribute to have. And if not in combat, 100% uh, VATS accuracy at 50% uh, AP cost. Um, that's That can be a pretty cool attribute to have, usually with rifles, things along them lines, where you can actually stay out of combat um, and kind of cap people off at a distance. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you might actually be able to convert this into a rifle. I'm pretty sure you can, uh, just by going and changing the stocks and things along them lines. So if you think about it, if, if you turn it into a rifle, you can maintain a safe distance away from everybody, uh, stay out of co um, combat, and you can actually, uh, in VATS, you can aim for their limbs to get that extra damage. So this has the potential to be a pretty nice weapon. Although it's level 45, so it's a max level. Just let me know in the, uh, let me know in the comments. Stalker's Laser Pistol. Whew, man, we got a lot of stuff that I collected on last week's grind, didn't we? <laughs> well, we're in the S's. And once we're done, we're going to be moving on to, um... Moving on to, uh, I don't know, like, the rules as far as showing brands, so I try not to show labels around here. Unless they sponsor me, then I'll, uh, I'll sell out. Drink Pepsi. <clears throat> Anyways, so, don't know where I was going with that. Just thirsty. Okay, moving on, I have another level 50. This is a uh, pipe bolt action rifle. It is a three-star. Um... But let's take a look here. Uh, this is not my particular favorite combination at all either. We got the uh, 250 damage resistance while reloading. That's not bad because it does take a little while to reload these uh, these these uh, bolt action rifles. Not the most amount of time, but a little bit. 33% uh, VATS 
hit chance. So if you're into VATS, 33% uh, increase on that, uh, and that's a pretty good increase. You'll hit most of what you're aiming for in VATS with that. And reduces target's damage output by 20% for three seconds. Now, for me personally, uh, I think that's one of my least favorite attributes in the game, just because most of the enemies, they don't they might do one attack every three seconds. That's not 100% true. I mean, I guess if uh, Super Mutant's got a minigun or something like that. But I mean, most of the enemies can only do like one attack every three seconds anyway. So we're talking about an enemy has a 20% damage reduction for one attack most cases. So it's a eh. But again, I'm not here to judge. If you're interested in it, let me know. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to sell it off to a vendor for like 12 caps. All right, so here we're at a uh, Suppressor's Salvaged uh, Assaultron Head. Whew, some of these get difficult to say. This is level 35. It's a two-star. Uh, but what's cool about this one is that the bullets explode. And that, of course, is one of our most favorite attributes. Even though we end up killing ourselves half the time every time a ghoul gets in our face and we shoot them point blank. Uh, but the bullets explode, which is always cool. Uh, and it, of course, reduces the damage, uh, the target's damage by 20%. Eh. This might actually be cool. I don't know if this is if this would work or not, but if you hit like a, uh, a group of enemies and it explodes, it might reduce the entire group's damage by 20%. And that's kind of cool uh, versus just one enemy by 20%. But I don't know if that actually works or not. It might have to be the bullet. I just wouldn't be surprised if uh, the explosion hits multiple enemies. It'll probably reduce the entire ed uh, group by 20%. If you guys know, let me know in the chat, by all means. I don't know everything about this game. I've been playing since beta, and I still got plenty to learn. All right, now moving on, I got a troubleshooter pole hook. This is level 40. Uh, it's got one of the better attributes for melee weapons. It's uh, got a 40% faster swing speed. So basically, the, the faster you can swing an, uh, a melee weapon, the more DPS you can end up doing. Uh, it does do 30% damage against robots, so if you're always finding yourself fighting robots, there you go. Uh, plus a nice little plus one agility onto it. So, if you're interested in this troubleshooter pole hook, let me know down in the comments. Ooh, looks like the server's having some trouble. I got too many uh, legendary weapons here. Okay, we'll see how far we can go here. Uh, troubleshooter Tire Iron. Again, a Tire Iron's not the most desirable. This is level 1, though. Uh, so this is a pretty cool weapon to have coming out of the vault. Uh, it does do about 30% extra damage to robots and 40% swing speed. So level 1, you can equip this right out of the vault. And for those of you that are, are, are brand, brand new to Fallout 76, uh, the first place you're going to find yourself is um, Flatwoods. Uh, and in Flatwoods, there's going to be some uh, uh, ghouls, a few ghouls, but one of the first places you're going to go to is the Agricultural Research Center. It's got an event, and it's full of robots. So this is a, this is a pretty handy weapon to, to hold on to. Like, like I said, usually I'm not a big fan of extra damage for only one particular character, and I just got disconnected. But given the fact that you can hop out of the vault, take this weapon, and go beat down some robots, which are some of the first enemies you'll come across, this can be a pretty handy weapon. I'm not talking much anymore because I'm probably just going to edit all of this stuff out. But in the event that I don't edit this out, I'm just going to sit there and let you guys watch me drink beer from my stein. So last week when I did the, uh, the legendary run, uh, my video ended up lasting about 15 minutes. I was hoping to get rid of all of these weapons, although I have collected more since then. Uh, I, I wanted to get rid of all of these weapons in this armor last week, but after 15 minutes of a video, I'm like, okay, uh, we're going to have to spread this out. Anyways, um, once again, I am going to be doing this, trying to do this every week. Uh, I had a couple of people reach out to me in the comments saying that they're willing to donate some of their items as well, which is super awesome. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to collect this many items every single weekend. 
Uh, so for those of you that are out there watching and you're interested in donating to help out some of the newer players or people starting new characters, let me know about that as well in the comments. Because, uh, I mean, that's the entire point, um, is to kind of help each other out, get more people playing the game. Uh, because obviously, if you're playing the game at this point, you're one of the people that like the game. You're not one of the haters that uh, just won't stop talking trash about a game that they've played for 10 minutes. Um so it's all about helping each other out. The more uh, you get a good start in the game as a new player, uh, the more likely you are to stick around, be part of the community. Blah, blah, blah. All that preaching. Anyways, if you guys want to donate, let me know. I do ask if you guys are interested in donating, though. You'll notice that I'm trying to only hold on to some of the, the, the higher-end weapons, regardless of what level they are. Uh, just because of weight management issues, I can't hold on to every single one-star legendary that's out there. Uh, it'll just take up way too much space. So we left out on this troubleshooter, Tire Iron. Let me know in the, uh, in the chat if you're interested. Uh, we're down to a couple of more weapons here. I got this Vampire Fire Axe. This is level 25, and this is a pretty sweet weapon to have if you're going melee build. 40% more uh, power attacks, and you uh, gain brief health regeneration when hitting an enemy. Uh, so at level 25, I mean, all the health you can get, the better. Um, you might not have access to too many stem packs that'll keep you alive. This isn't going to give you a whole lot of health, but it could be just enough to keep you alive. Uh, plus 40% extra power attacks. Naturally, the power attacks are going to be the heavier swing. Uh, so that's quite a bit of uh, damage increase. So Vampire Fire Axe, let me know in the, the comments. Uh, and I got also a Vampire Legendary, uh, Rev Rev they're all Legendary, Revolutionary Sword. This is level 40, uh, and it does also block 50% of the damage, or when you're blocking, uh, when you're blocking, 50% of the damage will go back to whoever's attacking you. That's an alright weapon. Not the best that I've shown. They can't all be winners. Um, especially at level 40, you're probably going to have a better weapon than that. But, again, if you need it, I got it for you. All right. So, uh, you know, I can't even really pronounce this. Uh, Zelot is how I pronounce it. And I could be totally pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I would say if I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know in the chat. But chances are I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, whatever you write in the chat either. <laughs> so I'll just keep pronouncing it wrong. Zelot's Tire Iron. Uh, so the Zelot, uh, basically, it gives you extra damage against Scorch. So 30% extra damage. 50% limb damage, and one endurance, level 20. Uh, when you add all that extra damage up, I just couldn't get rid of this weapon, level 20. Around level 20, you might find yourself, it depends on how much you like grinding, uh, around the Morgantown train yard, Morgantown airport, uh, which is loaded with all kinds of scorched. So uh, if you got this weapon, you'll be doing all kinds of extra damage to them. And that is it as far as weapons go. Now, I'm excited to get rid of most of this stuff because as you can see, uh, I, I am in... Um, I am in my excavator power armor. I've been using my excavator power armor a lot more often lately because... Uh, I've been holding on to all these legendary weapons, and it gives me extra carry weight. I got the calibrated shocks and all that stuff. Uh, so getting rid of some of these items so I can get some more uh, items will be a, a huge help out. So try to get some of these items, please. All right, moving on to armor. Um, so with armor, uh, I got quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, I got the Auto Stem Raider left arm here. This is level 15. It is a three-star. Most of the uh, armors that I'm going to be giving away are going to be three-star. So this is, of course, it automatically uses a stem pack when hit while health is 25% or less uh, every 60 seconds. So it just basically keeps you alive for you if you forget to hit the, uh, the health button, basically. Uh, you do get 25% radiation uh, resistance and ammo weight reduced by 20%. Now, anytime you have the weight reduced by 20%, it automatically becomes an awesome piece of armor, especially when you're uh, first leveling up. You're going to be coming across all kinds of stuff. Uh, ammo doesn't typically weigh that much anyways, but, uh, I mean, it's weight reduction, and one of the most difficult parts of this game is weight management. So if you guys are out there, level 15, uh, pretty nice armor here. Just let me know in the chat. All right, next we got another auto stem. Uh, this one also increases action point refresh speed 
and 50% more durability than normal, so it's not going to break nearly as often. That's a pretty decent one. This one's level 45, so it is max level. Um, so a lot of the time, by the time you hit max level, you probably have better armor than this, but nonetheless, it's here if you need it. Just let me know. Okay, I'm not getting rid of uh, my calibrated excavator shock. Sorry if you guys get excited there, but yeah, not happening. Uh, not today anyways. I'll let you guys know in the future. Um, so we're at, where are we at? Chameleon leather chess piece. This is a level 50, so you might have a better piece of armor. Uh, but this is, uh, and even though it's not necessarily the best piece of armor, if you're trying to do a stealth build, uh, this, is, uh, this is pretty sweet. So you get one endurance. Uh, you blend into the environment while sneaking, but not moving. Uh, and you become harder to detect while sneaking. So that's a pretty good combination. Some of you guys out there trying to do a stealth build, uh, this may very well be the perfect piece of armor for you. So just let me know. Level 50 as well. All right, and now we're doing the cloaking uh, metal chest piece. This is level 10, so for those of you just getting started off, this might be of interest for you. Uh, plus one charisma. Uh, anytime you get hit with a melee weapon, you turn invisible for 30 seconds, and falling damage is reduced by 50%. Now, I'm, I'm not sure about the, the, the stealth field for 30 seconds. In my experience, it seems like the enemies still know where you're at anyways. Because uh, they just hit you with a melee weapon. They're not going to hit you and be like, oh my god, where'd he go? Uh, that's just in my experience. I haven't seen a lot of value in it. But, I mean, it's a level 10 piece of armor with three stars. So, let me know in the chat if you're interested. Uh, we got a level two, uh, level 15 two star here. It's plus one intelligence. And again, being hit with melee, uh, you turn invisible for 30 seconds. Uh, level 15, I, I'm actually surprised I kept this one. Uh, it's not really that great of a piece, but if you want it, it's here. Moving on. Okay, life-saving combat armor right leg. Another three star. This is level 20. Uh, so you get 25 uh, extra radiation resistance. Uh, when incapacitated, you got the 50% chance to revive yourself with the stem pack. So if you die, you might come back to life. And again, harder to detect while sneaking. So pretty cool little level 20. Cool, let me know. Mutant Slither. Uh, so basically, I kept this one. Uh, it does give you extra intelligence, which is cool. Uh, plus 10 damage and energy for, for damage and energy resistance if you're mutated. Uh, this is level 30, so that does give you the chance to get mutated. Some of you might be uh, mutated by level 30. Uh, and, of course, again, food and drink and chems weigh 20% less. That's an awesome attribute for armor. So if you're interested in this, just let me know. Mutant's right arm. Leather right arm, I should say. Uh, and that was level 30 for you guys. Next up is a level 35 piece of armor. This reduces damage while standing and not moving. So this is going to be for those of you like uh, trying to tank, although most of us don't try to tank when they're level 35. We leave that to the, the max level people. Um, plus one strength, so that's that's good. If you're going to be a melee build, a plus strength also is going to give you an extra five carry weight. So that's cool. And, of course, uh, extra damage resistance and energy resistance if you are mutated. How many more do we got to go? Ooh, quite a bit more. Not, not too many more. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right. Nocturnal Trapper Left Leg. Nocturnal. Uh, so this is good half the time. If it's nocturnal, it, it gives you extra boost at night. Uh, so extra intelligence, which is cool. Uh, damage and energy resistance at night uh, increases at night, but decreases during the daytime. Uh, and, of course, reduces fall damage by 50%. Regenerating Trapper Right Arm. This is level 45. I like regenerating attributes at lower levels. This is a level 45, so it's a max, uh, max level for, for Trapper Armor. Uh, regenerating is kind of a cool attribute to have when you're uh, lower level just because you're just constantly gaining some of your health back as long as you're not in combat. Nonetheless, uh, plus one agility reduces damage while sprinting by 15%. So we got damage reduction uh, and that goes pretty well with the plus one agility perk. And then of course you're going to get some of your health back as long as you're not in combat. 
interested in that, let me know in the chat. Yeah, that rhymed. Ha ha ha. Whew. All right. So we are at unyielding. This is a level 15. So for you low level guys that need some armor, uh, this is going to give you plus one charisma. Gain up to three to all stats. I totally messed that up. Apparently I chugged too much. Gain up to plus three to all stats when low health. Increase size of sweet spot while picking locks. That's a pretty cool attribute to have when you're low level because chances are you don't have a lot of uh, bobby pins. Let me say this right now. As I'm as I'm doing this video, I realize I got a lot of stuff to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to kind of change the rules a little bit because I know most people are probably going to be going for weapons over armor. My goal is to get rid of this. So a new rule for everybody, uh, and this goes back to everything, you're allowed to get one piece, uh, one weapon and one piece of armor. Uh, at the beginning, I know I said only one item, uh, but my goal is to help you guys out and, uh, and get rid of some of this stuff as well. So one weapon plus one piece of armor. Changing the rules when I'm almost done. I know, I know. Uh, I'm just testing to see how many of you watch this video to the end. That's all. <laughs> all right, moving on. We got a level 45 piece of armor. Oh, I totally changed the... There we go. This is Vanguard Rider left, uh, Raider Left Leg. Uh, plus one perce uh, perception reduces damage while blocking by 15% and gain up to 35 energy and damage resistance the higher your health is. So let me know if you need that. Uh, and we're down to the last two items, which are both weightless. So they're reduced weight. This is a level 30 item. You're going to get endurance, reduces falling weight by 50%, and it weighs 90% less. And if you have the chameleon uh, uh, mutation, it doesn't count as armor. Uh, the chameleon mutation, I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Some people might like it. Um, but basically, if you stand still, you turn invisible, but it doesn't work if you have any armor on, uh, with the exception of weightless. Um, but if you, I mean, if you need it. All right, last, finally last, and this is a level 50 item, uh, weightless leather right leg. So it's going to do endurance plus one. Uh, again, it's going to be weightless, so it's 90% less weight, plus works with the chameleon mutation. And food, drink, chems, reduced weight by 20%, and that by itself is an awesome attribute. All right. Whew! We got through it, just in time for me to go do some death from above. Oh, they dropped it at White Springs. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. Anyways... So by now, I mean, I don't even know how long we've been doing this, but you can probably see why I didn't put all of this stuff in my video. Nonetheless, if you're out there watching this, uh, I hope you guys found some items that you can use. Let me know in the chat. I'll meet up with you guys in game and we'll do, do a trade. Uh, and again, keep an eye out because I plan on doing videos just like this every weekend where I do a weekend giveaway. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support you've given to my channel. Uh, and of course, make sure you hit that notification. That way you'll be the first to, uh, to know when I do this video next weekend because these are all first come, first serve items. Uh, and with all that, I'm ranting on, so we'll just see you next time.